gaseous tidal hypothesis about the origin of the Earth. Second to nebular and planetesimal, this hypothesis is very important in order to understand the creation and origin of the Earth. This hypothesis was proposed by Jeans and Jeffries in 1925. The gaseous tidal hypothesis may be summarized as follows. A very huge star progressively approached the Sun. Due to the gravitational pull of the star, a gaseous tide was raised on the surface of the Sun. As the star came nearer, the tide increased in size. When the star began to move away, the gaseous tide was detached from the Sun. Its shape was like a spindle being the thickest in the middle. The spindle-shaped gaseous mass soon broke into ten pieces, nine of which condensed into planets, and the remaining one which further broke into small pieces formed the group of planetoids. Flaws in the gaseous tidal hypothesis The passing star is unable to impart proper angular momentum to the detached gaseous masses. The hot gaseous mass pulled away from the sun would not form solid planets but would dissipate into space. 